In 2014, Scottish football and the medical field of cardiology lost a great man. Professor Stuart Hillis was a world-renowned specialist in sports science. But his passion was to improve the lives of adults born with heart defects. Now, many would like to see that work continue. You know, when he was when he was very unwell last summer, um, you know, up in Garden Naval Hospital, I asked him, "What is it you would you would like any future activity directed towards in terms of fundraising?" And he and he said, without hesitation, he said, "Adult congenital heart disease." Stuart Hillis was Scotland's team doctor for almost 230 international football matches, and to most of the fans, they only knew about his presence on the touchline. But it's deep inside the National Stadium where Stuart made his most significant contribution to football in Scotland. The creation of a National Sports Medicine Centre. It was a, a dream that Stuart had 20 years ago and it came to fruition when the new stand was built here and he really insisted and cajoled and persuaded and blackmailed the SFA into setting this clinic up. Fortunately, all that cajoling and persuasion worked. And it didn't go unrecognised. I just want to show you something. Um, here we are in the, the middle of Hampden Stadium. It's a, an unbelievable special place uh, for everyone involved in Scottish football. Um, if we look over here, some of the, the names that are um, on the wall, we've got some famous guys. Here's Alec McLeish, Sandy Jardin. Uh, some incredible names um, and uh, it's one of the proudest things um, for our family is that um, there's my dad, Professor Stuart Hillis on the wall, surrounded by all the, the great and the good of Scottish football. And it's a very rare honour to make it onto these hallowed walls as a non-player. By his own admission, he was a dreadful goalkeeper, and um, you know he lived. Uh, he managed to get into football through his medical career, and there's no way he could ever imagined, um, you know, being up there on the wall alongside, you know, all of these uh, Scottish greats. Unbelievable. Stewart's posthumous admission into Scottish football's Hall of Fame is only one of many accolades that he received. One of his proudest was the award of an OBE in the 2010 New Year's Honours list for services to sport and medicine. A pleasing point for Stuart. He wanted to be the best he could be at whatever he did. And there was a huge range of areas that he was involved in. Clinical cardiology, a university professor, Scotland football team doctor, sports medicine and sports science. And most important of all, in his later years, he was involved in adult congenital heart disease. And he really put his heart and soul into this. When Stuart first started work in cardiology, most children born with a heart defect didn't make it to adulthood. But as surgical techniques and technology improved, so did life expectancy. Breathe in and out. Stuart started quite late in his career in the adult congenital side. There was a cohort of patients coming through to him as adolescents and above that could look forward to, to a life uh, a longer than perhaps they could have in the past. But Stuart was never satisfied with just these people getting by and, and getting by through life. What he wanted to do, and his favourite phrase, was to be the best you can be. And that's what he said to all of us, and, what to the, and that's what he really meant with his patients. My name is Craig Montgomery, I'm the golf professional at the Rocks Hotel and Golf Course. I play golf competitively, I run three times a week, and I have congenital heart disease. My name is Gus Gillies, I'm a road and track cyclist, and I've represented Scotland internationally. I was also born with a congenital heart defect. My name's Laura and I'm 25 years old. I'm currently a fourth year student at Glasgow Caledonian University. I attend the gym three times a week and gym classes twice a week and I have a congenital heart condition. This is what Stuart was striving for, a new group of patients that have not only made it to adulthood but are capable of being the best they can. Golfers, students, athletes and Special Olympians like John. My name's Jim McCauley. I won the balls, Mendels, the whole my heart. 
Hi, my name is James Creaney. I've played over 250 football games. I'm now coaching at Partick Thistle and I was born with a hole in my heart. My name's Hannah Miller. I ran the New York Marathon in just over four hours and I was born with a congenital heart defect. This is a cath lab. Um, it's one of four cath labs we've got here at the Jubilee. Uh, so it, it's like a theatre. And as a theatre, you can imagine the patient lying in the table here. Um, there's two x-ray cameras. So there's this x-ray camera from above. And an camera Nikki Walker is the consultant cardiologist that has taken over much of Stuart's work at the Golden Jubilee Hospital. The surgeries available for a baby born, say in the early 70s, were fairly limited. Really, if you were born with congenital heart disease, there wasn't an awful lot we could do. And so when you think about the adults that then came through from that generation, there were a fairly small number of congenital heart disease patients in that population. As you come through the decades, what you see is the ability to operate and the complexity of operations just increasing and increasing. And with that, with every decade that's gone on, more and more patients born with congenital heart disease are surviving into adulthood and surviving well. You know, most patients hear the message of you've got to do exercise, you've got to go to the gym, but most of our patients have been told in childhood, oh, be careful, be cautious. So one of the exciting advances, I think we can do lots with medication and intervention, but what would be really exciting is could we do more to try and support the individual, to try and allow them to really achieve their potential. The best use of funds we're going to raise will be to uh, employ the services of a physio who will be able to assist uh, adult congenital heart disease patients in um, improving their lifestyle, um, improving their, their well-being and giving them a real chance to maximise what they can uh, do for themselves and also uh, you know, contribute to society. Um, I think in, in years gone past, um, uh, obviously there's, there's different degrees of, of illness if, if you like, but um, some, you know, some people um, would almost have been written off in the past and that's, that's one of the real drivers of, of raising money for the physio is to help uh, these people develop themselves and, and to maximise what they can actually do physically and mentally. Let's really try and continue that work that the prof showed us could work in people with heart disease. Let's take it into our population. Let's really see what we can do with these adults. They're living and they're living well. How much more can we help them achieve? How much more potential have they got? What more can we do? Can they run a marathon? Or can they keep up with their kids? That's the potential we're trying to chase here. My dad had uh, two great passions in life. One was medicine and the uh, second uh, was obviously football. And uh, you know, here we are at, at Hamden where uh, he earned a great number of his 228 world record uh, caps, which uh, the you know, family are all so very proud of. No, it was, uh, the football was magnificent. Uh, it was a great experience, but uh, his real passion in life was uh, looking after patients, uh, and in particular adult congenital heart disease patients. Um, I couldn't think of uh, a better way to honour his memory and continue on the good work that he was doing. <laughs>